Hey, what's up, YouTube? Fritz Jones Investing back with another video. Today, we'll be talking about Kathy Wood and all the trades that she made on June the 29th, 2021. I know that today is June the 30th, but she hasn't made those trades available yet because the trading day isn't over. We'll be talking about 15 stocks in our video today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get into it. The first stock is Ionis Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol IONS. This is a biopharmaceutical company best known for their medicine, Spinreza. This medication is used to treat spinal muscular dystrophy. This stock was sold in the ARKG fund and 268,000 shares were purchased, which represented 0.1% of the portfolio. The next stock purchased today under the ARKG fund is UiPath, ticker symbol PATH. UiPath can be described as a robotics process automation platforms and offers software solutions to automate repetitive office tasks to expedite execution. 291,000 shares were purchased, representing 0.2% of the portfolio. Sticking in the ARKG portfolio, Castle Biosciences was a sell for the day, which is under the tickle symbol CSTL. Castle Biosciences is a company that offers tumor-specific tests for dermatologic conditions. 4,800 shares were sold, which was less than three one-thousandths of the portfolio. Another sell for the ARKG fund was Plurisim Therapeutics, trading under the ticker symbol PSTI. This is an Israeli-based company that develops human placental stromatolocyte cells for the use of disease treatment. 62,738 shares were sold for a minuscule two one-thousandths of the fund. Switching funds to the ARKK, another buy was UiPath, Path, which was a stock that we talked about earlier. A robust 566,900 shares were purchased, which was 0.15% of the fund. Switching funds once again to the ARKQ, a buy for the day was Kratos Defense, trading under the ticker symbol KTOS. Kratos specializes in direct energy, weapons, unmanned systems, satellite communications, cybersecurity, and warfare, microwave electronics, and missile defense. 50,625 shares were purchased, and this was 0.04% of the fund. Another buy for the ARKQ fund was Kanzoon trading under the ticker symbol BZ. For those of you unfamiliar, Kanzoon is an AI recruitment platform linking job seekers with jobs. An advantage of this company is job seekers and employers can interact from the very start. 109,000 shares were bought, which represents 0.13% of the portfolio. A sell for ARKQ was Galileo Acquisition Group, which trades under the symbol GLEO. This company is a SPAC or Special Purpose Acquisition Company. 1,798 shares of the stock were sold, which was less than six ten thousandths of the fund. An additional sell for ARKQ was Raven Industries, ticker symbol RAVN. Raven is a precision agriculture company that specializes in the automation of agriculture, reducing costs by reducing the need for humans to be present. 8,104 shares of the stock were sold, which was less than one one thousandth of the fund. Switching funds again to the ARKQ was a purchase of a stock we previously discussed, Kanzoon. Just over 101,000 shares were purchased to the tune of 0.06% of the fund. Another buy for ARKW was Vusix Corp, ticker symbol VUZI. This company is a supplier of wearable display technology, virtual reality, and augmented reality. I will link a video with the interview between ARK Invest and Paul Travers, the CEO. 232,000 shares of the stock were purchased. This comprised 0.06% of the portfolio. A sell for ARKW for the day was Lending Club Corp, ticker symbol LC. Lending Club is a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform. 82 shares of the stock were sold for the day. Another sale for the fund was PagerDuty, ticker symbol PD. This stock is a software as a service company that operates as an incident response platform for IT departments. 6,567 shares of the stock were sold. This represented a very, very small percentage of the portfolio. ARKW sold Roku stock, ticker symbol ROKU. Roku is a service that allows you to watch free and paid video content on your TV through the internet. This application is popular for individuals looking to cut the cord and switch from cable. 5,986 shares of Roku were sold, which was 0.04% of the portfolio. The final stock for today's video was C Limited, ticker symbol SE. C Limited is a consumer internet company that consists of digital entertainment, electronic commerce, and digital finance services. ARKW sold 21,337 shares of the stock. I would love to hear your thoughts. This is my first time doing a video like this, so please let me know what you think. What do you think of all the stocks that Kathy Wood bought and sold today? For me, this was very interesting because I had never heard of some of the companies. It gave me an opportunity to learn and possibly participate in buying some new stocks for the portfolio. 
please do your own due diligence because I'm not a financial advisor and don't just purchase stocks because I bought them or Kathy Wood did so. As always, this was Fritz Jones Investing back with another video today. I hope you learned something and please don't forget to keep getting those passive income and keep getting those uh, dividends. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.